Hi there, I'm Ann Hamlin, the Wisconsin Valley Library Services Public Library Services Consultant, and today we're going to be talking about Bitmoji. So what is Bitmoji? Bitmoji is a fun app that helps you create a cartoon image of yourself, an avatar, that you can customize the hair color, eyes, lip shape, dress, um, you can add props, and then you can put those images with fun things anywhere you can think of on as a Facebook post, in your marketing, on documents that you hand out at the library, um, where else? Oh, you can put it in Canva design. So any images that you're making for summer reading, the Bitmoji application works well. It dovetails perfectly with the library program theme of Tales and Tales for 2021. So how do we get started with Bitmoji? So find your smart device or computer and search for Bitmoji. If you're using a smart device, download the Bitmoji app. You can sign up for a Bitmoji account using an email or a Snapchat account. You don't have to have a Snapchat account, but you can use your email too. Then, once you've created an account and made an avatar of yourself, you're almost there. Next, on your internet browser, search for Bitmoji browser extension. We want to add that tool to this toolbar at the top of our internet browser. I use Google Chrome, so I downloaded the Bitmoji Chrome extension and you can find the little green guy up here. Let's see what Bitmoji can do as a extension to your browser. When I click on the Bitmoji icon, this is assuming that you've created your avatar. So you have a Bitmoji account with your email or Snapchat. You've customized your character, your avatar to look like yourself. Now, look at these fun images. Here is myself, my avatar, with a little doggy. So if we look in this top right hand corner, when I clicked on the Bitmoji browser extension, it brings up a few images. You can see that you can use these limiters along the bottom to help find something that you would like to use. But if I know that I wanna use Bitmoji to incorporate animals into an email with a picture of myself, um, I'm going to search animals, but you can see that I've already been playing with that in that I have um, found one of myself holding a cat, of myself posing with a golden retriever as my one of myself as a cat, right? One of myself riding a rooster. It's wild. So let's search for animals. Oh my goodness. You'll see that we have tons of choices. Here I am dancing with a penguin. Here I am as a grumpy frog. Here I am with a cow. So let's get specific. I'm gonna search dog. <gasps> Here I am with a dog sharing spaghetti. Here I am cheering with a dog. It takes some experimentation, right? You can also search for feelings. So, um, Smile. I'm just going to search for smile. And here I am. My avatar was smiling. How about another animal with a tail? So I'm going to search whale. It helps if I spell it correctly. So here I am with a whale and I click on it because I say I want to use it. And it says you need to right click on me and copy it from the menu. So I'm going to right click, copy image. Now, you're saying, Anne, where would I use an image like this? You could open up your Facebook. And if you are going to have a water themed story time for whale tales and tales, and you want to do a sea theme, you could say, you could pop open your Facebook and say, story time Tuesday. And then the theme is a whale of a tail. Uh, join us 
at 10.30 a.m. How fun is that? Okay. You can open up your Canva account and go to a design that you're making for summer. And instead of using images without any librarians in there for connection, you can paste in your Bitmoji. So all I did is I opened up my Bitmoji extension. I found an image that I'm interested in using and I right click to find copy image. Then in Facebook and Canva, you use a keyboard shortcut. You, you press control V, V as in Victor. And here we go, here we are. Here are my Bitmojis right in my Canva design. How neat, ready to go. I wanted to show you a Bitmoji library. So what is that? All it is, is a Google slide that you can put any background in. Oh, let's look at these. Here are the Google, uh, sorry, the Bitmoji libraries I've created in the past. So um, here's one of your peer librarians showing us their Bitmoji libraries. Let's click into one. So this one, gosh, where is that? Is that Augusta? Hmm, I can't remember. Anyways, they took a picture of their real library space and plunked their librarian Bitmoji right in there. Let's see. I created one as a helpful tool for a youth services discussion. So the story walk resource that we all work together to put together. Instructions for using Beanstack. Links to the youth services Facebook account. And there's my Bitmoji with a doggy. So create a Bitmoji account, customize your avatar, and then search for the Bitmoji extension. So Bitmoji browser extension. I use Chrome. When I installed it, here's the little Bitmoji icon. Then if I'm searching for a picture to add in at the bottom of an email or an image to use to promote story time, if you know what you're kind of looking for, you can do a simple search to find an image, right? Oh, here I am with a pet unicorn. And then I right click, copy image, and I can paste it into a Facebook post by using control V and promoting story time. I can add it into a, a Canva design. There I am. Or a Bitmoji library, or simply I can open up a Word document or a Google document and paste it there and save it and use this in an email. Let me know if you have any questions and please check out the other digital bite on creating a Bitmoji library.